So I recently picked up some of the next products. The Biostimulant Pack is what it's called. Um, it has four different products in there, different micronutrients that you can apply um, in between or every other, whenever you want to really, um, in between fertilizer applications, alongside fertilizer applications, and it really helps um, give the lawn extra nutrients uh, that, it, that it needs to, to grow healthy and, and look good and, and get the nutrition and everything that it requires. Um, one of the things that's different about it though is it's liquids and I don't have a whole lot of experience with liquids and because it's liquids it has to be delivered differently. You can't just put it in your broadcast spreader like you would Milorganite or Ringer Laundry Store, you have to deliver it from a hose end sprayer uh, like this one. This is the Ortho Dial and Spray. Um, it's one of the more popular ones out there. Um, so I've spent a couple of a couple of times trying to play around with it and figure it out, um, figure out the math behind it, and I just wanted to share what I've learned here. And, and show you how it works and do an application of these products. So this is the dial and spray. Uh, you can see you just attach it to your hose here and it has a little trigger that you can squeeze and of course the dial on top. And then there's three different um, options for you to choose from. You've got kind of like a regular um, rain type spray here. And then this one here is more of a jet stream, and then this is more of a fan tip kind of delivery. Um, I like these two personally. This one doesn't make any sense to me, um, but these two seem to work really nice. Um, I think the last time I played around with this one, I was using this one, and that seemed to work pretty good. Give a nice even, even delivery and application. So the way that this works, and I'll give a little bit more of a diagram explanation in a second, but. Just to kind of give you a basic rundown of how it works is, of course, the water comes through here. And without setting this, if this was set to off, you, you're, no matter what you set it to, two gallons of water per minute, two gallons of water per minute is going to come from the hose out the end here. So that's important to remember, two gallons a minute. And then on the dial, you can choose how many ounces of the contents of the container are delivered per gallon. So this would be, for example, three ounces per gallon, four ounces per gallon. So you have two gallons a minute, four ounces a gallon. That's gonna give you eight ounces in one minute of, of time. So the math is really pretty simple once it makes sense, um, but just to kind of make it a little more easier to understand let me show you the diagram that I came up with okay here's my drawing um, I did this um, pretty quick just to kind of make sense of how it all works so as you can see through the hose we're getting um, two gallons a minute and on the dial it sets the ounces per gallon so for an example um, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do three ounces each of the Humic 12, the RGS, and the Aerate. So that gives us nine ounces total of product. So if we were to do just those nine ounces in the tank and set the dial to three ounces a gallon, the hose is already giving us two gallons a minute. That gives us six ounces a minute. So if the tank is nine ounces, we'll just do a little simple division. Nine divided by six is 1.5. So that would take a minute and 30 seconds for us to get rid of that nine ounces within 1,000 square feet because this is gonna cover 1,000 square feet. So we have a minute and a half to get through 1,000 square feet and that's pretty doable. Um, I, think, I think that's possible and we can always um, adjust by either diluting the tank with, with water, so adding water to this and changing the math. In fact, I think I did, yep, add water to the tank to dilute. So if we add five ounces of water to our our uh, nine ounces here, that would give us 14 ounces. So if we have 14 ounces in the tank, two gallons a minute coming out of the hose, and we set the dial to three ounces a gallon, we have six ounces a minute still. So then we have 14 total. So 14 divided by six 
is two and a third. And so we'll be empty in two and one third minutes or two minutes and 20 seconds. And of course, as a reminder, that's gonna cover 1000 square feet. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. Um, it's nice to have uh, a dilution in the tank because it will thin out uh, the product a little bit better. And it's nice because the fuller the tank is, the more pressure, and I found that the better the product comes out of the tank. So let's go mix up our solution there, the nine ounces, and get started. Okay, so we have our solution mixed up, ready to go. Let's attach it to the hose and start spraying. Just to make it simple, this entire area right here, this, this square, is a thousand square feet. So we need to get rid of that whole bottle in the, in the two and a half minutes that it takes to cover this area. So we have two and a half minutes to cover this entire area right here. Okay, that section worked out really good. So we'll go back through the rest of the lawn and hit all the other zones and just make sure that we have enough of the product in the container uh, to cover um, thousand square foot areas. That's my little helper right there. Okay, super glad to have that done. I really like the results that I get from that. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that and enjoy the results when they come. Should take a day or two because it's liquid, it goes in super fast. Um, so again, uh, just make sure that you spray it evenly, time it out in your head, do the math, and it works out just great. So hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and we'll see you next time.